hey, this old iPod has already gotten a lot of attention here on YouTube because of its unique small size for an MP3 player, as you can see here, and its capability of acting like a smartwatch. Here you can see some comparisons to a normal watch. However, there isn't any good test or review on if it makes sense to use it as a fitness tracker today. In theory, this device might actually have quite a big potential for sporty people because of the combination of features it offers. First of all, the clip. Well, you can put this thing onto anything, one of them being your wrist, but maybe you don't like that. In this case, there are plenty of options, some of them making more sense and being more stable, whereas others don't. Second of all, there's the fitness app that lets this device compete against other fitness trackers. Here you can choose your training, be it walking, running, or at the bottom you can see your existing trainings. Here in this menu you can choose the kind of training you want to do when exercising, like for example doing it with a certain time limit. Now when choosing a workout the iPod already offers you to play some music and now it's time to start the workout. Then with this iPod you of course have got a lot of options for playing back audio, for example your music in the music app. You can store a lot of music on this um, with it having 8 or 6 gigabytes. Here you can see the interface for playing the music. But there are also other options, um, like for example playing an audiobook or virtually anything you have on your computer or hear the radio. You can change for example the station by double clicking the sleep wake button. But with this iPod seeming to be that great and also cheap on eBay for example, I wanted to know how it compares to other fitness trackers or my GPS tracking iPhone. So I equipped myself with the iPod on my back, the phone in my hand and the fitness tracker on my wrist and started the workout on all of the devices to see how they will compare later on. Okay, so here's the result. According to the GPS, it has been um, 5.3 kilometers that I've run. Um, however, the fitness tracker only said 3.9. But here's the cool part. The iPod was pretty accurate with about 5.08 kilometers. And it gives you the option to tell it how much it was actually to improve the tracking in the future. So yeah, with that result in mind, I think this iPad definitely makes for a great fitness tracker. And if you are able to find a good deal on it, I would really recommend it. Not only because it's a good fitness tracker, but also because of its capability of playing back music. Or what I like doing most with it is listening to the radio. Um, there's a feature that lets you see the tracks you've listened to on the radio. I think that's very very useful. In my opinion this device is just very nice and doesn't seem as old as it really is. Yep, so thanks for watching.